Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Miss Lady Ree, and today we're playing in makeup. I'm thinking about doing these neon colors mixed with maybe a little glitter. I um, looked up for some inspiration and I found this picture here and I'm going to try it. Granted, I don't have the palette that she used, but I need some makeup therapy. I have surgery on Wednesday and I just want to play in makeup. So, if that's something you like to see, stay tuned. <laughs> to watch this video you're here and i appreciate you like you clicked on that button and you watching me right now thank you if you're not part of the family go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your girl so you can be notified anytime i yes re upload another video let's get into it let me put my music on i'm not gonna be talking through this one because i find it really hard to talk and do uh eyeshadow at the same time my eyebrows are already done with the benefit brow and the number five LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Toffee on the outside and Chestnut uh, here and above. And I concealed a couple of, they're not really concealed, but you know, with that extra concealer. Let's get it cracking. I start off with some Milani eyeshadow primer. Pretty much just place this over the lid so that um, I'm showing you a pea size and then I tap the two fingers together and put it on each side and you want to like spread it out as evenly as possible all the way up to the brow and then let it sit for 30 seconds to dry before you apply any eyeshadow um, on top of it you know you got to have a little victory dance and I think the song was playing with no hands and anybody that know me in my little clubbing days that was one of my favorites I'm just buffing it down to make sure it's all dry this is the neon colors that I used. I bought this off of eBay. I typed in neon eyeshadows. That's what came up. Couldn't have been more than $7. And as you can see, it is pigmented. The only thing I don't like about it is it has a lot of fallout because of the powder that it is. I'm thinking it might work better wet. I haven't tried that though. In the picture I showed you earlier, she didn't use um, neon colors. I Googled. Um, makeup inspiration and it was one of the ones that had the most pop of color that I was like mm, let me try this although my look didn't come out exactly like hers um, that was the inspiration I used and I want to give credit to where it's due granted they didn't have the artist's name there either here I go in cutting the crease with the color white I tried wiping it away but I already had eyeshadow primer down and I didn't want to lose that base so I went over to cut the crease with um, some white LA girl pro concealer and it was a little difficult but once I got the crease cut in the shape that I want you know you can go for the half circle a whole circle or you can do the whole line whatever shape you want when you cut the crease is up to you I was going more for a half moon on my eyelid just because that's what I wanted to do and it takes a while to get the crease cut but once it's cut you'll be good Once I got the shape that I thought was best, I go in with a little fluffy brush to pretty much pack down the white concealer so there wasn't a crease. And I'm looking to make sure it's as even as I can get it. Then I go in with the next color, which was the neon purple for the outer part of the lid. And I'm kind of packing it on and going up with it using circular, just pretty much packing the color in there. 
they didn't really blend that well together but I didn't want it to blend that much if that makes sense where the crease is going in with the blue I started off with a little bit at a time and like slowly built it up to where first I pack the color on then I go back and try to blend the lines between where the purple is and then where I want the next color to go which was going to be green I believe and then I see how it's like falling but these neon colors were popping and if any time I felt like I put too much of a color in a space I would go back and like fix it now this yellow it looks so bright I'm gonna put my hand over it so you can see because um, the lighting was LED but it was popping and this is where I get, went back with uh, some green to try to blend the yellow and green a little bit more because after a while when you use different colors sometimes you can lose a certain color and I wasn't feeling that orange like right in the front so I went back in with some of that hot pink on top of the orange to not like get rid of it but just to kill it or dye it down a little bit I used some NYX glitter to uh, add some iridescent glitter on top of it now when I started off at first it didn't look like a lot but it's gonna be to the point where it covers the entire colorful part of the lid that I did to where you can't see anything and in order to fix that I'm gonna go back on top of the glitter that I placed there and make the colors pop a little bit more because the glitter it was just too much but it still came out cute this is I applied glue and then I put glitter on top apply glue and then put glitter on top and as you can see the glitter is slowly starting to cover the work that I had did underneath it and that was me questioning hmm do I start over but no I'm gonna make it work add glue and glitter add glue and glitter now once I had enough glitter on there this is me going back with the colors I never dipped back into any product I just used the product that was on the brush and went over the areas that the colors were just so that the glitter wasn't as prominent as it was because it was dominating <laughs> the eyeshadow look and that's not what I was going for that word that was not my intentions go in with some eyeliner it's really hard to find an eyeliner that goes over glitter very well this is a Revlon felt tip precise liner it's not that bad you just got to keep going over it and over it to cover the glitter After I did the eyeliner, I put my lashes on. I did that off camera because the struggle was real. I stayed with the Milani products using the Prime and Shield primer, and my foundation is in the color Chestnut. Um, I like this primer because it's like really silky and smooth, and it helps set the foundation. Use my little foundation brush and slowly build all over the face. And then once I'm done using the brush, I'll go over it with a beauty blender just to make sure there's not any crazy lines anywhere. My mom called, so if you see me talking, I'm talking on the phone with Mom Dukes. I talk to my mom at least two or three times a day. Don't judge me, whether we're in the same area or not. <laughs> um, yeah, and I just make sure it's evenly spread out as much as possible. I like Milani's foundation. It has like a scent to it. It's pretty cheap. It's under $8, I believe. You can get it from Target. You can buy it from the website. And these are the new concealing techniques. I know I'm not the only one using them. And I conceal under, in the inner corner of my eye, on the side of the bridge of the nose, on the outer corner of the eye, down the bridge of my nose, a little bit of my forehead, the tip of my nose, my cupid's bow, and last but not least, my chin. Sometimes I do um, the sides of my jawbone but it just depends on how I feel that day or what look I'm going for that day. Like I don't contour every single time. It all depends on the look I'm going for that day, how I'm trying to strut that day, you know. <laughs> Must have been a good song. Um, and then I use my Real Technique Small Beauty Blender that they have and just blend everything out. 
And like I've said in previous videos, with this new highlight technique under the eye, you still got the coverage that you need, but you don't drag down the cheek area where blush would go. I don't wear blush too often. I'm not a huge fan. I have it, but only certain looks have I actually applied blush. Not a fan. If I were to use some, it'd be pink. Um, I'm using the setting powder in the color Cashew from Fenty Beauty. And you know I always set where I put a liquid. You have to set the liquid with the powder if you don't want it to move. And I set it in because I don't really bake. And then I dust it all off with this Fenty Beauty setting powder in the color Nutmeg. It makes sure we have an even, you know, an even set. You got to set the darker areas as well with the powder. Some use pressed powder, some use setting powder. It's whatever works for you. Then I go in with some Diamond Dust Highlighter. It's one of my favorites. I have some more of her highlighters, but the Diamond Dust one, I feel, can go with any look. No matter what, and you can put it anywhere on your body. You can even put it on your like collarbone if you want to make that area pop. But everywhere that I use the LA Girl Pro Conceal in the color Toffee, that's where I use that highlighter. Now I'm using my um, Maybelline lip stain in the color Protector on the outside to make it look like a liner. And then in the middle part I use Amazonian. Blend those together with a makeup brush to kind of like blend the lines. And then once I feel that's good enough, I'll go on, on top of that with some Smashbox. The Petal to the Metal, which are my three favorites. And I um, blend it till I get like a nude look looking lip, like I want to. If you don't have Maybelline and Smashbox, you could use the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Vancouver and London. Those two work just as well. They're also my favorite to get that nude looking lip with a little bit of shine. But I figure since the eyes were so bold, the lip should have been nude. Personal preference. But that's it, you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Remember, I'm having surgery.